everybody. Welcome to Run the Twist, episode 187. It is December... Ooh, I'm on the wrong page. December 18th, ah, 2013. And we are one week out from Christmas, if you celebrate, so yay. Yay, and don't panic. If you don't have your Christmas knitting done, don't worry. I don't either. Um, I do have the twins within arm's reach, just because they are being very, very fussy tonight, and I finally got them to sleep. I just... Just in case I don't want to have to get up and pause this um, to go get them, because who knows when I'd be back. So we're going to try to get through this. I don't have a whole lot of content. I have been crafting in the last two weeks. Um, we just didn't record last week because we made a trip out, and it was just me with the twins taking them to church for the first time. And yeah, it as awesome as it was to get out of the house with them and know that I could do it on my own. Um, it was, I don't want to say tiring. It wasn't tiring so much, but, um, draining. I'm sure those of you that have had kids will understand it's yeah. So hence why it's been two weeks. Like I said, schedule's going to be a little iffy from here on out. I'll record when I can. So first things first, uh, what I have on my needles is the log cabin, the baby log cabin. Uh, last week I had just picked up, last week, two weeks ago, last show, hey, I had just picked up for this stripe, which is the, was it this stripe or was it the yellow stripe? I don't remember. I'm going to say the second stripe. Change that so I know what I'm talking about. Um, I think I had just picked up for the yellow one which was the first stripe on the seventh round. I want to do eight rounds, so I'm on stripe number two, which is the sea foam. This is Knit Picks Comfy Sport, and I'm just doing the basic how to log cabin from the first Mason Dixon knitting book. And yeah, it's going well. I haven't really touched it in a while because I need to join a new ball of yarn, and I've got it down in the living room, but I don't have, I just haven't had the impetus to pick it up. So that's a little more than a yard of yarn left and that wasn't enough to get across the row. I didn't mind joining in the middle of a row. So I just have to tie on the new ball and take off, I think, I believe, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have three rows left to go and three rows. Yes, because I'm going across the backside. That will make the eighth garter ridge. I do nine garter ridges and then I bind off. So three more rows and then I bind off this stripe and then I can move on to the next one. Slowly, slowly getting there. My sister-in-law is at 37 weeks with Fireball, um, her baby girl, who her older brothers have nicknamed Fireball. Actually, that's what they wanted to name the baby, but they have been vetoed, but it's the nickname now. So, yay. Uh, I can hear Gabe grunting in the background, maybe. No, he's okay. Using my US 5s, which is the 3.75 millimeter signature so fixed circulars. Haven't had any problems with them. They're still going great. Uh, I love them. I love the sharp pointy tips for picking up all the stitches as I'm going across, but they can split this yarn just a little bit. So I have to pay a little bit of attention, not full attention to what I'm doing when I'm doing my stitches. But, oh, some of the way. He's going to squawk. Uh, don't squawk. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that's where I am. I'm on the second stripe of the seventh round of the log cabin. So there we go. Again, none of the ends woven in. Lazy with that. I need to do that as they come up. Uh, the only other knitting thing that I've been working on has been my husband's Christmas socks. Uh, last week I was, I think, 11 stripes down into the foot of the first sock. I finished the first sock. Yay. This is my basic 72 stitch vanilla sock. I'm knitting it on US one and a half, so a 2.5 millimeter needle. And it's out of Knitter's Nightmare Batty Sock. Uh, Sadie does the Yarnivore podcast and she was kind enough to gift me this color, uh, this summer when we were at, uh, SSK together. It's an 80-20 merino nylon, and I love it. It's just squishy enough and hopefully sturdy enough that it will hold up. 
My hubby owns one pair of knit socks so far that my mom knit for him out of some Desert Vista dye works. She knit us each a pair um, that's pink and blue striped. Ooh, I should have grabbed those to show you guys. Maybe next week. Um, and he wore them for a grand total of, I think, two hours. Um, they were specifically supposed to be our going to the hospital socks when the twins were born. Um, Susan from Desert Vista Diaries was kind enough to dye my mom up a special order. That one skein was larger pink stripes and skinnier blue stripes, and the other one was larger blue stripes with skinnier pink stripes. So we had kind of reversed stripey socks. So one sock from each of our pairs was wider pink, and the other one had wider blue stripes. The nurses loved them. Uh, we actually put them on once we got to the hospital, or in my case, mom put them on for me because I couldn't really feel my feet because of the epidural. So I uh, had them on while I was having the twins, and hubby was wearing his pair. And yeah, his feet got really, really hot, which surprised me that he asked for more wool socks. So we'll see how often he wears these, but I did my afterthought or forethought in this case since I put in a uh, waist yarn. It's the uh, crystal heel construction that I learned at the last sock summit. And the second sock I made quite a bit of progress on thanks to the um, nursing pillow that Irish Diva Hello Kate was kind enough to gift to me. <laughs> I have figured out a way to knit while feeding the twins. Yay! No, I'm not doing tandem feedings, and that is way too much information for you guys. But here we go, second sock. Awesome. Made all kinds of progress on it. For some reason, it took me three days to put in the heel on the first sock, so I'm hoping it doesn't on the second one, or I am in a very bad place for Christmas, if that's the case. So there we are. I am... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stripes into the foot of the second sock. Mark this all down the show notes. I had all my projects downstairs while I was writing my show notes up here. So I want to make sure I get that in. So there's my waist yarn. And the colorway on this is Cerberus. It's a character from the Resident Evil games, movies. Um, it's basically a demon dog, demon zombie dog. I don't know, my husband plays the video games. I just sit there and go, uh-huh, 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 and try to help him when he can't spot something. Currently, we're working our way through Assassin's Creed 4, and I'm helping him figure stuff out or going, ooh, look out, a shark! <laughs> He's having fun, that's what matters, so... Hopefully he enjoys these and wears them, because if not, he's not getting another pair of hand knit socks. I'm making him pick something else. So they're coming along. Uh, like I said, I had to bump up to a US one and a half. And just because his foot's wider than mine, I had him try on one of my pairs of socks just to test the heel fit. He did try on this one. He knows he's getting these for Christmas. This one fits. Thank God. I actually looked at him and said, try this on. If it doesn't fit, lie to me. And then he tried on and goes... Oh, hey, it fits. These are awesome. And I said, are you lying to me? And he said, no. Are you seriously not lying to me? I like, I quizzed him for five minutes afterwards after I told him to lie to me, but I wanted to make sure they, they actually did fit. So yay. Hopefully by next week, I will have a finished pair of socks to go under the Christmas tree. That's my only knitted Christmas gift that I'm giving this year. So my one thing that's it for what's on my needles. Uh, no FOs, obviously. Um, no spinning, obviously. But I do have pokey things. I'm still working on the uh, Frosted Pumpkin Strip Trees 2012 Kwai Winter Sampler. I had said I was going to do a square a day and to turn this into an advent calendar. <laughs> it's not happening. However, I have made progress. I had I think I'd only done the first two. So day one's over here underneath the edge of my frame that I had to move over. Uh, I had, no, I had done the owl. I can't remember if I had done the little ornament here. Whoop. 
And then obviously day four was mittens. Day five is a little ice skate. And then I skipped just because I didn't want to move my fabric. I went down rather than going back to do six, seven, eight. So day 10 is a lovely little stocking, a cup of hot chocolate for day nine. And right now I'm working on day eight and it's going to be a penguin on a patch of ice. I've got the patch of ice done. I had to finish the frame on day eight as well. Um, I hadn't had enough white floss, so I'd had to go out and get more. Hence why if you look further down, you'll see I don't have all the little white frames done or the white numbers inside the gray frames. So I've still got a little bit of work ahead of me. And let me tell you, probably the best one to show you on is the ornament Ooh, over here. That gold metallic DMC floss is a pain in the butt to work with. Oh my goodness. I, I hate and despise it with the burning fiery passion of a thousand suns, which means I'm really going to hate it when I get down to days 24 and 25 because the frames around that go around each lovely little square are stitched in that blankety blankety blank gold metallic floss and I'm not looking forward to it, but I will do it because it needs to be done. So there's where I'm at stitching wise on my pokey things. Now, some of the stuff now it's showing up really nice here. Um, I have not done uh, the back stitching that needs to be done on days three, uh, three, nine and 10. They want you to back stitch around the eyes and then back stitch a little mouth on. I'm leaving, it's kind of like weaving in my ends on the log cabin blanket. I'm leaving all my back stitching till the very, very end, just so I can get it all done at once. If I was really obsessive with it, I would just stitch one color over the whole thing, but I kind of like the feeling of accomplishment as I finish each little square. That's the nice thing about these. I can get one done in an evening, depending on how in-depth they are, um, how many colors, how many yeah how detailed for some reason the mittens even though there's fewer stitches fewer actual stitches to cover uh, those mittens took me forever i don't know why they just did whereas i finished most of the stocking and the cup of hot chocolate in the space of a morning i i don't get it and it could be i was distracted by a movie or by what was on tv but there you go so that's where we're sitting. Uh, like I said before, we're one week until Christmas. Um, don't panic. Definitely taking a more laid back approach this year. Um, I know I did last year as well with the wedding and everything, but the only knit, like I said, the only knitted thing is my husband's socks and oh, someone's got a handout. Okay, Mr. Man. Come here, Gabe monster. Oh, we got a Gabe. So the twins are seven weeks old now. They are growing like little weeds. Gabe likes to turtle. And so does Tara. She's actually doing that right now in her bassinet back there. Um, and yeah, that's where we're. There he is. There's my Mr. Gabe man. We've, we've had a bit, a few fussy nights, but everyone's doing really, really well. So thank you everyone for, oh, hey, what, are we doing a high five? High five. Okay. I'm going to let you guys go. It's great being back to recording, like I said, and until next week, hopefully, when family are visiting and I can have someone else watching the twins and get away for a little while, I will see you. Then and happy knitting.